The Canada Lynx. The Canada Lynx is a medium-sized North American cat that ranges across Alaska, Canada and many of the contiguous United States. It is characterized by its long, dense fur, triangular ears with black tufts at the tips, and broad, snowshoe-like paws. Similar to the bobcat, the hind limbs are longer than the forelimbs, so that the back slopes downward to the front. The Canada lynx stands 48 to 56 centimeters tall at the shoulder and weighs between 5 and 17 kg. The lynx is a good swimmer and an agile climber. The Canada lynx was first described by Robert Kerr in 1792. Three subspecies have been proposed, but their validity is doubted. A specialist predator, the Canada lynx depends heavily on snowshoe hares for food. This leads to a prey-predator cycle, as Canada lynxes respond to the cyclic rises and falls in snowshoe hare populations over the years in Alaska and central Canada. When hares are scarce lynxes tend to move to areas with more hares and tend not to produce litters, and as the numbers of the hare increase, so do the populations of the lynx. The Canada lynx hunts mainly around twilight, or at night, when snowshoe hares tend to be active. The lynx waits for the hare on specific trails or in ambush beds, then pounces on it and kills it by a bite on its head, throat or the nape of its neck. Individuals, particularly of the same sex, tend to avoid each other, forming intersexual territories. The mating season is roughly a month long. After a gestation of two to three months, a litter of one to eight kittens is born. Offspring are weaned at 12 weeks. This lynx occurs predominantly in dense boreal forests, and its range strongly coincides with that of the snowshoe hare. Given its abundance throughout the range, and no severe threats, the Canada lynx has been listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List. This lynx is regularly trapped for the international fur trade in most of Alaska and Canada but is protected in the southern half of its range due to threats such as habitat loss. The Canada lynx is a lean, medium-sized cat characterized by its long, dense fur, triangular ears with black tufts at the tips, and broad, snowshoe-like paws. Like the bobcat, the hind limbs are longer than the forelimbs, so that the back slopes downward to the front. The Canada lynx is sexually dimorphic, with males larger and heavier than females. The lynx is between 73 and 107 centimeters in head and body length and stands 48 to 56 centimeters tall at the shoulder, females weigh around 5 to 12 kilograms while males weigh around 6 to 17 kg. Physical proportions do not vary significantly across the range and are probably naturally selected to allow for survival on smaller prey. The Eurasian lynx, which prefers prey the size of a roe deer, is twice the size of the Canada lynx, which feeds primarily on the snowshoe hare. The stubby tail, typical of lynxes, is 5 to 13 centimeters long, while the bobcat's tail is black only in the upper part, the tail of the Canada lynx has a completely black tip. The long, thick fur, uniformly colored with little to no markings except on the underside, insulates the lynx in its frosty habitat. The fur is typically yellowish-brown, though in Newfoundland it can vary from brown or buff-gray in spring and summer to a grayish shade with a grizzled appearance in winter, the underparts are white and may have a few dark spots. Although no melanistic or albinistic forms of the Canada lynx are known, a specimen from Alaska was reported to have bluish-gray fur. The fur is generally shorter in summer than in winter. The backs of the ears are brown with a silvery gray spot at the center. Similar to other lynxes, black tufts around 4 cm in length emerge from the tips of the ears, which are lined with black fur. In winter, the hair on the lower cheek becomes longer, giving the impression of a ruffle covering the throat. There are four nipples. The claws are sharp and fully retractable. The large, broad paws are covered in long, thick fur and can spread as wide as 10 cm to move quickly and easily on soft snow. Its paws can support almost twice as much weight as a bobcat's before sinking. Both species walk with the back foot typically following the front foot and often do not follow a straight line. 
The stride is 30 to 46 cm for the lynx, while that of the bobcat varies between 13 and 41 cm. Canada lynx tracks are generally larger than those of the bobcat, the thicker fur may make the toe pads appear less prominent in the snow. In dirt the tracks of the lynx are 7.6 to 9.5 cm long and 8, 9 11.4 cm wide, whereas in snow they are bigger 11 cm long and 13 cm wide. The warm coat, wide paws and long legs serve as adaptations for the lynx to navigate and hunt efficiently in snow. The Canada lynx has 28 teeth, the same as in other lynxes but unlike other felids that have 30. The lynx can feel where it is biting the prey with its canines because they are heavily laced with nerves. It also has four carnassial teeth that cut the meat into small pieces. To use its carnassials, the lynx must chew the meat with its head to its side. There are large spaces between the four canines and the rest of the teeth, and the second upper premolars are absent, to ensure that the bite goes as deeply as possible into the prey. The Canada lynx can be told apart from the bobcat by its longer ear tufts, broader paws, shorter tail with a fully black tip, longer legs and the fewer markings and grayer shade of the coat. The bobcat is generally smaller than the Canada lynx, but in areas where they are sympatric the bobcat tends to be larger and may still be confused with the Canada lynx. The caracal resembles the lynxes in having similar tufts on the ears. Thanks for watching.